All right, guys, we're going to pick up where we left off on Friday. We're going to start with our next explorer. So show me you're ready by having your computer down at listening position. Have a seat, eyes up front. Oh, yeah. Um, you will you will need your packet out, but not till later, so you don't have to get it out yet. If you can't handle having your computer open a little bit, go ahead and close it. Angel, do you have a question? If you cannot see from back there, yes, you may sit up front, but sit some sit next to someone that you can handle sitting next to. I was gonna sit next to. So. Move, move, move. Roderick, can you close your computer, please? Ilya, Alia, Carmelo. Just it. Close it. Put it down. Maybe go back to level one. Okay. Put it down. This is all that hard. Who is it? All right. Abdul, show me already. All right, we're gonna meet. All right, we're going to learn some background information. We're going to learn about his voyage goals like we did with Christopher Columbus. We're going to learn about his journey and the results from his journey. Hi there, I was a young boy when Columbus first set sail. Growing up, I was very smart. When I grew up, I knew I wanted to find this new world that everyone was talking about. This is some background information about him. I was born in Italy in 1485. I was introduced to the adventures of exploration at an early age. As a boy, I, was, I sailed to places like Egypt and Syria. Boy, was that amazing. Growing up, I heard of Growing up, I heard of the amazing voyages of explorers like Christopher Columbus, and I knew I wanted to be an explorer too. Italy. Hold on, give me one second, guys. Make sure you do get there with us. I knew one. I knew one. You won. You won. I knew one. Italy is so small. Everybody would be wrong. Hey, guys, hang with me. All right, his voyage goals. Even though I was born in Italy, it was. Hey guys, put your papers away. We're not doing those yet. Helene, we're not doing those yet. Yep. Even though I was born in Italy, it was France that hired me as an explorer. You see, France had fallen behind in the race to Asia. I was just the man to pull them in the lead. Anyway, just like everyone else in my day, my crew was looking for, for what for that quick pathway to Asia. We kept hearing of all the riches that people were finding in the new land, and we wanted our piece of the pie. Well, beginning. So now we're going to read about his journey. Well, beginning in 1524, France gave my crew and I four ships to set sail. The sea can be rough, though. There are storms all of the time. Unfortunately, on our voyage, two of our ships were damaged in the storm and had to return to France. The rest of us pressed on. We were on a mission. Olivia, can you put those away, please? All right, now the journey. We sailed and sailed and sailed for 50 days before any sight of land. Finally, there it was. At first point, at first I pointed my ship south when we saw land, but then decided to head north. While heading north, I never lost sight of the coastline. I was hoping to, to eventually find a water pathway that would lead me further west. Finally land! I was beginning to worry. Hey, hold it. Yeah, boy. Keep your eyes on the coast. So they started over here. 
Where did they start? Who gave them their ships? Iraq, I mean, the, um, the queen. France. The queen. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Europe. Julia? The queen France the queen gave them their, their ships. So they start over here in France, and they set sail for 50 days, and then they saw land over here, so they went north instead of south. They went up the coast. And days, like a month. Continuing on their voyage for the next few months, my crew and I kind of poked around the northeastern coastline, stopping at places here and there. At some of the places we stopped, we met some of the locals. We even traded with them. All in all, it was a pretty good trip. Is this all we're going to do? Just go up and down the coast? Boring. Exactly. The results of this voyage. All right, I know my exploration doesn't look impressive, especially compared to Columbus. I know, I know, but I did do something other than just go up and down the coast. I promise. Listen, you don't know how hard it, it was searching for a pathway to Asia. We didn't know where to look or where to go. We didn't have the greatest maps, you know. That's where I came in handy. Smart. Since my crew covered so much land, I was able to create better maps of the area we explored. We also stopped for a while in the New York Harbor, exploring that area a bit. We even climbed the New York Harbor for, well, we even claimed the New York Harbor for France. <laughs> Score. All right, guys. So, we're gonna have you go back to your seats and get out your packets. Is this a great? It will be. Zoom in. Go ahead and get your packets open on your computers. Your explorer's packets. There, go back to your seat, please. Thorough, go back to your seat, please. Wow. Use your packet out. That's what I have. I know, but you will need your computer as well, so just go back to your seat. Matthew, can you get your packet out for me, please? Your explorer's packet. Stay at your seat. Stay at your seat. Zara, have a seat, please. All right. Once you have that packet out, go ahead and look up here. Have your eyes up here. Carmelo, can you get your packet out for me? Can you get your packet out? Matthew, can you get your packet out, please? Thank you. All right, I see most of you have your packet out. So, Hold on, I'm not there yet. Guys, I'm waiting to give you your next directions. All right. You're going to go on canvas. Get some Z. Wait. You'll do that after I'm done. I'm going to show you where it's at first. You'll click on today. And then, hey guys, let me show you where it's at, and then you can ask your questions. And you're going to go down to social studies and click on the Explorers Lincoln thing. Once this comes up, you'll click on this, it will open up. I want to do it on paper. It is on paper. Hold on. This is going to pop up. This is going to oh, pop up. The, uh, so we can read it on our own. Oh, listen, listen, listen. I said you can ask your questions afterwards. You, this is going to pop up. We've already read through the beginning of this, but when you come down here, you can just click on the next explorer. So we're on number two, Giovanni de Veranzano. So go ahead and click on him, and then you can read about him, what we just read, and you're going to fill out his page in the packet. All right. All right. 
I'm giving you until 1220 to get this done, and then we're going to go over it.